Good afternoon, everyone. WebBots. Alta report for December. Two strikes, direct hit. Talking about flash freezes. It was 60 degrees Fahrenheit one day, dropping down to minus 60 Fahrenheit in a day and a half later. That's the flash freeze event. Great Lakes covered in three, 400 foot fog banks. Alta report December 2016. Talking about global climate gone wonky with pear-shaped out of normal patterns. Right over Christmas, warm air intrusion into the Arctic Circle. Yet on both sides, in Eurasia and over Greenland, record cold. Bit wider out here for you. Taking a look at the air intrusion, green are warmer temperatures than the pink, which is in the minus 30 Celsius range. We get other anomalies coming through the US and Canada, pushing off the chart to well below normal temperatures. You do start to see these blobs of cold air cut off, clearly visible mix up in the temperature spectrum here at the North Pole. Eurasia pushing minus 50 Fahrenheit, yet the lines between these two systems are so unbelievably tight, you just don't normally see this. This image here showing around in Morocco, all the way through North Africa, Syria, Turkey, extremely cold temperatures. The Alter report continues. Storms are going to walk about relative to their previous understood patterns. That makes sense because in the 15th of December, you don't expect it to be minus 30 Fahrenheit. In the lower 48, clear down into the Midwestern states, it doesn't even get that cold in the middle of February. Cold cutoff blobs, 50 degrees below normal temperature across the Great Lakes areas. Flash freezing record cold, minus 33 Fahrenheit, pushing down from Canada. You get these cutoff lows and these cutoff freeze areas. Flash freeze events that the Alta Report talked about as well. 70 degree drop in 24 hours. And that panhandle in Texas is not an isolated incident. Everywhere else in 24 hour temperature changes on the purple here. 50 degrees Fahrenheit swings in a single day. The same thing through Oklahoma. Incredible temperature swings all forecast within this WebBot report for December. And when they do talk about systems being out of place in extreme cold, Siberian times, it's already 60 Celsius below. They don't normally get those types of temperatures until February, but even then it's only minus 40, not minus 60 two months early. So cold they're bringing reindeer inside the apartment buildings. I was shocked when I saw this photo. Here it is wide out for you. The dark indigo color is the extreme cold across Russia. People resorting to keeping their animals alive by bringing them indoor. Minus 49 Celsius, minus 45. And then the WebBot report continues on fogs to be seen at sea as evaporations and never before witnessed rates of unusual temperatures and fogs across the planet. We'll start up here on Lake Superior. You might have seen something like this earlier in the year as well. Extreme cold zero degree temperatures rolling across the Great Lakes put these four 500 foot fog banks out there. And I love in the article how they say it's a menacing misty wall, but it's normal. When temperatures are zero degrees Fahrenheit, rolling over warm lake waters, it creates these dense vapor banks hundreds of feet tall. Notice the date on this one. This is December 18th, but back in January 19th of this year as well, it happened again. So what are the probabilities of these two extremely rare events happening twice in the same year? Fog Dome. In northern Wales in the UK, a bit closer up here for you. And then in that same area, thick fog turns into fog falls rolling off the cliffs. Fog disrupting flights at London airports. Three day delay going on there. And then taking a look at Travel Wire Asia, flights canceled throughout Asia because of dense fog. It's actually a mix of natural fog and pollution. And when it mixes, it gets so thick, it's a soup. Case in point, Chengdu. Two weeks, their flights could not take off due to this fog. 
This is how dense it was. They had to close the airports, runways across Sichuan. But when you look at the fog being this dense that it's affecting air travel and tens of thousands of people are stuck. And then a quick Google search of flights delayed by fog in China. Tianjin also, which is close to Beijing, looking like this. Roads closed, flights delayed, flights canceled. Heavy smog over China. Beijing canceling hundreds and then thousands of flights as this pollution level reached into the thousand ppm levels. December 19th, China was completely covered in this fog slash pollution mix. And then we jump over to Indian Express, Delhi, experiencing the same dense fog delaying flights all the way to Rajasthan, over through Varanasi. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. Climate patterns are definitely on the move, just as you expect during the grand solar minimum. When this happens, food prices shoot up. Jump over to Bob at Trade Genius. Talk with them on how they're trading on this strategy of the grand solar minimum, because they're forecasting out which crop losses are going to be the greatest and which ones are going to rise in price.